Hey guys, uh, E.W. Lannon here, and I'm going to be playing a Legacy League uh, with four color control and trying it out uh, with Assassin's Trophy. Three of them. Uh, three might be too many. Might want four, I don't even know. Never played this deck. But I wanted to try three because, well, at least draw them. Uh, if we have three of them. If you only have one or two, like, we're not going to get to see how good it is, really. Uh, but I think it's pretty good. It answers everything. Like, it's pretty good. It answers uh, Chase the Mind Sculptor, which is probably the main thing other than than uh, things that Abrupt Decay would be able to hit as well. Or, okay, Jace and Gurmag Angler. Um, a few other cards I'll make note of. Uh, this is basically like what the old check pile was except for there's no death ride shaman which is kind of a big deal so the mana looks like super wonky uh but we'll see how how bad it really is um as most of these blue black control decks run there are a bunch of one of answers such as one counter spell one fatal push one edict and then uh there's some other stuff in here that that I'm playing that most people probably don't play, but I think Arc Trail is like pretty darn good. I, I think uh, this deck often wins. These decks often win by chipping away with Baleful Strix and Snapcaster Mage, and so like being able to uh, either kill two things or deal two damage to them, as opposed to like what Fork Bolt would do is just like one damage to them or generally no damage to them. At least here you're always going to get to to. Uh, to kill something and, and deal one damage to them, assuming they're playing targets that you can kill. Uh, if they're not, then you probably want to side it out, or it'll at least deal, probably be able to deal two damage to them, uh, which is not ideal. But anyway, that I think Arc Trail is pretty good. Um, and I think Think Twice, I'm playing two, uh, I think Think Twice is really good in this deck. Um, in blue black control decks because uh unlike miracles like i don't think there's room for four accumulate knowledge and i'm not sure that drago is what you want to be doing as regularly as as miracles but being able to um to draw a couple of cards when you kept open either a counter spell or an assassin's trophy or uh you know to the slaughter something like that or a snapcaster mage instead of just passing and then like they didn't do anything so uh then you just untap and it's basically like you're not you know you're just in you took a turn but if they didn't do anything you didn't do anything but if you have think twice then you get to draw a card so then you're doing something when they don't do anything it's great <laughs> i just think the card is very good in this style of deck um and we'll see how that goes and then there's like a one of spell pierce which is for things like uh jace but I don't know if we really need that, to be honest. Uh, Assassin's Trophy seems pretty good, but it, it could be good against combo. Um, still have one Fatal Push instead of like four trophies, because the one mana is pretty big, especially with Snapcaster Mage. I'm also playing an Electrolyze, which, similar to Think Twice, I think is, is uh, quite good. At either A, like I said, chipping away at damage is pretty good, and then drawing a card, or just like killing something and drawing cards is great. Um, as the style of decks have always done, it's like they win with card advantage with like lots of two for ones and stuff. And that's kind of why I put these in. Like Think Twice is definitely a two for one. Arc Trail is usually a two for one. Electrolyze can be like a three for zero or two for zero, something like that. Or it's just a cantrip at worst, three mana cantrip, you know. And then obviously Cool Against Command is like one of the best two for ones ever. Uh, Leovold's great. That's the main reason to play green other than for Assassin's Trophy. Um, I'm not playing Gurmag Angler. Uh, Gurmag Angler is a great clock. It's a great way to end games, which is something I, I like to do. But Leovold's also pretty good at doing that. And like I said, you generally end up winning with like chip, chip shots with snaps and strixes and things like that. And just controlling the board uh, or Jace, you know... Usually you don't ultimate Jace to win, but you can. It's a win condition. 
Uh, but I, another reason is is because I think Ensnaring Bridge is like really, really good in this style of deck. And it makes your Gurmags not good. And I don't really think Gurmags are the kind of card you really want to be like siding out if it's your win con. Like, uh, but yeah, I just think Ensnaring Bridge is really good. I kind of want a second one. Um, but two might be too many. Or one main might be a little bit much. I'm not sure. But yeah, Ensnaring Bridge is really good in this style of deck. It's good against things like um, Death Shadow or other Gurmag Anglers or even like True Name Nemesis or things like Merit Lage. Uh, could be good against... Probably not good against Elves. Maybe it's good against Elves. I've never actually tried it against Elves. It kind of negates their natural orders and their Creator Hoof Behemoths. Um, yeah, it might be good. They can still just kill you, though, with 1-1s one and 2-2s. Two Although you can get rid of all the cards in your hand pretty easily. Uh, anyway, so I think Ensnaring Bridge is great. Uh, got a bunch of counter spells here that you would replace your your Force of Wills with in Control Mirrors. Um, and then some cards here for, like, combo, like Surgical. I, I'm kind of mixing it up. There's a good reason to mix it up. Tormod's Crypt, Surgical uh, mix-up is, is very good. Uh, the extra pates because I have surgicals. Uh, I don't. I only have one surg one surgical in this account. Um, I, and anyway, mixing it up's fine. Extra pates fine. Uh, I think to be ideal, you would want like two surgicals and a Tormod crypt. I think for a reanimator. But extra pates surgical Tormod crypt's actually not that bad either. Uh, and the thought sees is good against combo edicts. Um, there's two of them here. Mostly, oh yeah, also, ensnaring bridge against uh, show and tell is good. Uh, mostly for things like show and tell and merit lage, and it's also just like good against Gurmag Angler or true name nemesis sometimes. And then we got toxic deluge, which is for the like the go wide decks or just you know it's another removal spell. Uh, and then you got Pithing Needle, which can just hit whatever. I mean, you might want to hit, like, a Sword of Fire and Ice would be a good target. Uh, Gristle Brand would be a good good name. Um, anyway, that is the uh, the deck, and I will play round one here. Hope it works out for me. <laughs> 